Hey everybody, Brandon here from Cad Intentions. And today's episode of Coffee Break is part two of the ultimate uh, CAD modeling setup. Uh, so if you haven't seen part one where we look at the ThinkStation P910 behind me here, uh, make sure you check that one out. In part two, we're gonna be looking at this Dell 34 inch uh, curved widescreen display. Once again, uh, I'm drinking Kicking Horse Coffee, uh, the kick-ass blend. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to uh, try that out. So getting back to the uh, monitor here behind me, you can see this thing is uh, massive. Uh, it takes up most of my desk space here upstairs. Uh, if I could run to, I would definitely give it a shot, but uh, the size of the screen kind of makes it uh, unnecessary to have two. Uh, and what I've been using it for, just kind of playing around with uh, Fusion here. This is one of the uh, demo projects in Fusion here, uh, just to kind of show you guys what it's like uh, with this wide of a screen. It's 33% uh, more screen real estate than the 27 inch Dell that I uh, reviewed a couple episodes ago, so check that one out if you're interested in a little bit of a smaller monitor. Uh, that one was also flat, uh, and and the space that that one takes up for the cost, you could pretty easily put two on uh, most desks or setups. This one, on the other hand, while I'd love to have two, I don't have the space here. Um, but with the extra size, as I was saying, like with anything like modeling-wise. I don't really see the need for the second monitor. Uh, maybe having a small one off to the side for email or files or something. It gives you so much more room for working around in your software, uh, especially in uh, softwares like AutoCAD uh, and Fusion to some extent, uh, where you've got a lot of menus and, uh, and kind of need the space. Uh, AutoCAD in particular, Civil 3D, where you can have a ton of uh, taskbars and menus open. Uh, as for specs, uh, like I mentioned, it is a 34-inch uh, FHD ultra widescreen display. Uh, it runs 2560 by 1080 resolution, uh, as well as has a 21 by 9 aspect ratio. For ports, it's got the standard uh, multiple HDMI ports. It's got DisplayPort mini display port as well as multiple USB uh, upstream and downstream ports. Uh, it also has audio out uh, with two 9 watt uh, speakers built into the monitor and they actually sound pretty good if you weren't uh, using this as like a major home theater or multimedia uh, setup. The speakers are definitely usable for uh, listening to a podcast or something while you work or uh, watching YouTube videos or Netflix. In the box, it comes with power cable, uh, obviously. It also comes with a USB cable, uh, DisplayPort cable, as well as the stand, which allows you to uh, quickly and easily pivot the monitor uh, left and right, uh, as well as raise and lower the monitor. And it also provides uh, back and forward uh, tilting, uh, making it pretty easy to kind of fit it into any space that you've got. So that's it for the uh, Dell monitor kind of overview and rundown. Uh, make sure you check out the blog post that I'll post a link to below. Uh, I've also included a link for more specs, pricing, uh, and where to get it. I think all around, uh, this setup is, is great. Uh, I haven't had any issues, no downside so far, other than maybe price, because these things are not cheap. Uh, but if your company's buying, or if you're really looking to set up a killer uh, setup, definitely take a look at these. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh, down below. Hit the like and leave a comment, uh, but mostly subscribe so that you guys can keep up with part three, which is coming next. Uh, and I'll be taking a look at the Logitech uh, MX Master 2S mouse, uh, my favorite mouse I've used uh, to date, as well as the new uh, Logitech Craft keyboard. Uh, which has been really cool and I like the feel uh, so far. So thanks again for watching, hope you guys enjoyed the video, leave a comment and see you next time. Cheers!